It is the championship game here in Gainesville, Florida. The number seven seed, the Missouri Tigers, look for their first SEC tournament title against the Arkansas Razorbacks, also looking for their first title. Last night's starter who went the distance and picked up the win against Florida, Shanice Dells. Now, Dells has been outstanding. The SEC pitcher of the year transferred over from Tulsa last year. She has just been phenomenal through this SEC. SEC tournament championship game is underway, and it starts with a single off the bat of Jenna Laird as Mizzou gets things started quickly here in games. The series wins since then. This is a fly ball heading into foul territory. Long run by McEwen, who makes the out. Sliding catch. This is an important out. When you're given extra room on these sidelines, you have to be able to make those catches. With two down. Bailey, soft contact to second. LaValle onto first to Danielle Gibson. And much like the top half of the first, one pitch. It's all KB sides needs, and it's a single to lead things off for Arkansas. And she's got it. That's got to feel good for those two who have been hit machines throughout their careers. Sides before coming to Arkansas. Committed an error. And on the hands of Gibson, and Arkansas breaks through here in the first. one nothing Razorbacks in the title game. Three hits in the inning. 14 shutout innings in this tournament. Fly ball to right field, Honnold under it, and she'll make the catch to retire the side. Compliment Mary Half, their veteran who's done so well, back-to-back -back strikeouts on six pitches for Dells. Chopped to second, backing up is LaValle, and on the first, it's a one, two, three inning for the pitcher of the year in the SEC. And low in the zone. That is a fair ball. Down into the corner, Hoffman digging for second, turning for third, the ball is loose on the warning track and she'll get in with a stand up triple. We'll see how they score it as Honnold was trying to track it down on the angles in the corner and it started rolling out towards center field. Oh, wow. Because she throws that drop ball. But Valley taps it in front of the plate, digging hard for first and she is safe at first base. One one to Friedman. This one is a bloop out behind second base and an RBI single for the number nine hitter to nothing Arkansas. Three hits in a row for the Razorbacks. McEwen chops it to shorts. Little hesitation, now the runner tries to score from third and that Missouri defense comes through. A double play to end the inning and end the big threats. The count to Emma Robbie. Popped it up on the infield. LaValle, two down. Well, Give her a different look from half. Grounded to short. Friedman gets there, but no getting Laird with her speed, and she has her second hit of the game. Read letters on a, a book or not. Strikes out there, but he's had a really good season. Dells gets the strikeout. Line drive, another base hit for Arkansas. Two and two, the count to Gibson. Slow roller to second. They get the tag, the throw, the double play. What was that? Was <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> it sounded, sounded like you're already tired before you do your two hours on the air. That is sent to Shomo in left, and it's the second hit of the game for Casey Hoffman. She took a turn. Opposite way, turn on the inside pitch. Hard hit off of the pitcher, and it's going to roll out to the outfield grass, allowing Hoffman to move to second. LaValle is at first. Line hitter Marlene Friedman. Friedman to third for one to second on the first. It is a triple play. It's a triple play, four outs. Maybe they can carry one over to the inning. It's a double play, oh said the overexcited God. announcer. <laughs> we got excited too. Honnold with a fly ball to right. Hoffman drifting back all the way to the track for the out. Against Arkansas in the fifth. Three. Called strike three. Dells gets the strikeout. That's her fourth. Two down. Helping Arkansas to a 19 and five conference record for the second year in a row. The 0-1. And this one's through the hole into right field. Sides trying to go first to third. Here's Honnold's throw. It's off the mark and it gets away. And Sides is going to break for home. Here's Shomo with it. No throw. 
Arkansas on top, 3-0. Because they have those three double plays. This one's hit hard and into left field. A base hit for Ellsworth. That's her second of the game. And this goes back. You're going to play in Oklahoma City. Ball. Uh, new format, obviously. Ground ball. Will it be another double play? There'll be a force at home. And then on the hard slide, Hattie Moore had her legs taken out from under. Off the plate. Slow roller to third. They'll come to the plate for another force out. So Kramer is retired. Hoffman. Wild pitch to the backstop, comes back hard, but Moore won't get there. The run scores as Gibson slides in safely with the fourth Arkansas run. Second and third now. Fly ball to center field. Wilmis drifts back and puts it away, but because of the wild pitch, Arkansas does pick up a run seed, the 12th national seed that year. Dallas gets the strikeout. Battle at the plate by Robbie. Missouri, her career started at Hofstra. Ground ball to shorts. Friedman on the first, and Dells is dealing against Mizzou. One three ball counts for Dells, and swinging at the first pitch, and flying it out to center field is Brooke Wilmis, one away. Chopped to third, two down, Arkansas's one out away. And it looks like it could be 13, the ground is short, and they'll call the Hogs in Gainesville for the first time Arkansas has won the SEC Softball Championship. You can see why she's the pitcher of the year in the SEC. Yeah. A two-hit shutout in a championship game. Shanice Dells, what a gem. She looked so calm from the get-go. You could tell she just really settled into this field. And you guys, we mentioned it earlier, she feels right at home here at Gainesville, sweeping the Gators earlier this season and coming in here and then winning the SEC tournament.